Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and another vloggy vlog vlog! I'm just gonna start every single vlog like that now. What it's just got a ring to it. Come on Sam, Sam. Sam is my personal assistant today for today's video. We are indeed going to be talking about safety wear. Hi Viz, illuminated products. Products that basically keep you safe when out riding, cycling, running, etc. So it is going to be quite a product based video. So apologies in advance if that's not your kind of thing. Um, normality will resume next week, but it is just something that I felt with the clocks due to change shortly. People like myself that work typically nine to five, eight or six full time jobs now being able to start riding again after work. It was quite it's windy around there. It was quite a relevant one to do because although high vis should be worn all the time, oh hi ponies, they've just kind of come over. Um, obviously, it's even more essential when it's dusk or when it's starting, when it's when the sun starts to set. So now that we are going to be able to get out after working hours, then I thought it was a good time to do it. Um, like I say, I wear high vis all the time, generally tabard, generally boots on Banksy's legs um, but I have discovered a few new products recently not just for riding but also for cycling and running that I thought may be helpful to keep you guys and anybody else your loved ones safe when riding cycling running dog walking etc loads and loads of things that I thought would be good tips be safe be seen we all know the score so let's get into the video are you gonna come in and be my glamorous assistant too Yes, I thought that was going to be a computer says no. It says, well, I tell you what, if you put something in that bucket, mum, I will indeed come and be your glamorous assistant. I will indeed, but only if you put something in the bucket. Hey, oh, oh, he's a hungry boy. He's always a hungry boy, aren't you? Funny story. Do you want to tell the vlog banks? Where were you last night? Hmm? Where were you last night? If you watched my trip out in the trailer vlog a couple of weeks ago, you will know that I let him have a taste. Oh, hi, Puss Puss. <laughs> of the luscious grass that is in the kitchen field. And that taste meant that he knew it was there when I came out to do my late night checks last night at quarter to 11. There was a little legs stood here. There was no sign of a Banksy boo, was there? Where was the Banksy boo? My phone was inside or I'd have filmed you, caught, red-handed, or green hooved, should I say. In there, he had got over, through, around, I don't know how he did it, basically, he got in there. I shut off the bottom field at the weekend thinking, we'll rest that bottom field now. The grass is coming through, they can just have this one and that one. Still quite a lot of field space, plenty of room to roam, and nah, it didn't work. I think actually, because when that gate is open, he can't generally get in there. I've, I've only known it happen once or twice. But when that gate is shut, he wants to be in that bottom field, don't you, you little terror? And somehow manages to get over the hedge between the big, 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 big field and the bottom field. And then because that gate that shuts there also shuts there, when it's shut across this way, he can then roam straight in to the yummy scrummy one, can't you? You little terror. Thankfully, he must have been in there a good hour or so because he was fat and full and let me catch him easily and then banished him from staying out overnight to his bedroom. So yeah, another reason why I need to make this video short and sweet because I've still got mucking out to do and I still want to squeeze in a ride because it is after work on Monday and yeah, I'm excited for getting back in the saddle. I've been, yeah, much better recently. I'm not gonna tempt fate by saying too much about that, but I'm keen as a bean to ride more often. I'm trying to make myself do it daily, whether it be my pony or Emily's pony. Um, I've ridden Lola again a couple of times recently, which has been nice. And my confidence is getting back up there. I've ridden in the field twice. If you haven't seen my recent vlogs, you won't know that, but you can go and check them out and then you will know that. Um, yeah, depends how with me uploading twice a week at the minute. Some guys haven't caught up on 
recent ones before watching this one. Anyway, I'm blabbing. Let's get on with the high vis video. It's been one that I've been meaning to do for ages and for some reason it just keeps not happening. But today it is happening. In fact, it's happening right now. I've got my props. I need to get my glamorous assistant in. And he will be stood here any second. Now, hopefully I'll do a magic trick and edit Banksy in there. Ta-da! Here's the glamorous assistant. That wasn't a very good magic trick. And here is my first item of high vis. It is a reflective tabard, which I am sure 99% of horse owners have. This one I have had probably for about six, seven years. Um, it's lasted well. It's an equi-safety one. Oh, I have got a little hole in it, but like I said, it's six or seven years old. It's one of the ones that says polite, polite notice, does it say? Polite, or it looks like police, but it says polite, please slow down. And I think that drivers do pay particular attention to this because of the blue and white lines at the top. I do have another tabard. I like this one because it's got two zippy up pockets and is also um, adjustable on the sides. Da da, like that. And then you can velcro it back on. But like I said, this one is quite old. I've had it a long time, but it's fab and lightweight for like in the summer, if you're going out in just a t-shirt, strappy top, whatever you may wear when it's boiling hot. This is nice and lightweight, not at all restrictive. And I definitely think that with the blue and white, like replica police logo, branding, not sure what you call that, but anyway, I do think this one specifically does encourage people to slow down that little bit more on the busy roads. I do have another one also, this was given to me by Becky from Supercross Country when I was up at Olympia in 2000 and 19 feels like a lifetime ago again nice zip oh i've got a stain on that one only one pocket on this one but it is a nice deep pocket my iphone 12 fits in there absolutely fine zip it up nice reflective branding down the zip detail and again pretty sure it says the same thing i can't read it because it's too low please Oh no, please pass wide and slow, this one says. So again, slightly different tagline on this one. Again, nice and effective. Nice stretchy panels on the side and lightweight for wearing in the summer. I used to only ever wear tabards. I never, oh, I did years ago have one of the like builders reflective coats, but I used to find that quite big and bulky. So I chose to primarily wear a tabard and my normal fully waterproof coat underneath if it was a shocking weather day however a few months ago I was kindly sent by Equisafety the same brand as the first tabard I had on one of their big reflective jackets now let me put that one on for you two seconds there we have oh we're in focus there we have it what do you think Banks and I will admit when it first came through I was a bit like Oh, I still think I'd rather just wear my normal waterproof coat and then a tabard over the top. However, I have found this winter, and if you followed me this winter, you will see and notice that I have been living in it. It is a super, oh, we've got a tractor going past. Good chance for you, you to see it close up, I suppose. It's like, I think the black parts kind of make it look a bit more flattering than just a full on reflective jacket. Um, it's very bright. It's got a nice high neck, which means you don't get cold or wet on the horrible wet and rainy and windy days. Um, should have tucked it down, not up. Down, that, oh, it's there. It's because it's a two-way zip. So yes, two-way zip down here means that if it does touch the front of your saddle, you can unzip it and do that. And then again, a zip here two, so that it can go over the back of your saddle. <laughs> Do you think I'm mad? You're very warm. Another fascinating fact 
about high vis stroke reflective attire, illuminated attire, as some of them are when they have batteries and LED lights in them, is that we primarily wear it to A, be seen by drivers on the road and B, to encourage them to slow down. But another reason for wearing it, especially as horse riders and also as cyclists, I guess not quite so much road cyclists because cars and other road users would see the person if this was to happen. But a third reason for wearing high vis is because if you were to fall off, which does unfortunately happen at times whilst owning horses and mountain bikes who are off in rural locations, then if you were to have a serious accident and the air ambulance needs to find you, they are much more likely to spot you lying on the floor in a high vis coat, tabard, base layer, top, trousers. There's so many things that are available in high vis. Ensuring you wear it is for your safety and the safety of others and to ensure that if the worst was to happen that you get help as quick as possible because you get found, correct? And I'll be honest, that is another reason why I do like to always kit banks out in something high vis as well as myself. It's all well and good me being on board with my nice reflective jacket or my tabard, but if we were to separate from each other, which like I say, has been known to happen and is likely to happen again in the future, who knows when, hopefully not soon. But it's important that if he tries to make his way home, he is also visible and able to be seen if he flees from me and as I say, we part company. So the one thing we always use, I say in the winter and that's because obviously in the summer, sometimes it's too hot for an exercise rug is this one from Amigo by Horseware. As I am gonna ride, I will tack him up and get him ready like I would if I wasn't filming. Thankfully, he's nice and clean, apart from his legs, and doesn't really require any additional grooming. Not just for happy hacking anyway. Obviously, I'll pick his feet out and show you the leg attire that I practically, I would say 99% of the time, wear on him whilst hacking. You know what I mean? But generally, 99% of the time, you will see Banksy wearing high vis boots whilst hacking. And my product of choice there is the Woofwear Club Reflective Brushing Boots. This pair is a couple of years old, or are a couple of years old, is are. They're super simple to put on, nice and easy to do up. Lightweight, reflective, keep his legs safe as well as bright. And yeah, they wash well, they come up out of the wash like, well, I say like new, I mean, like I said, they're a few years old. They're gonna get a bit tatty because they're doing their job of brushing together and protecting his leggies. But yeah, they're definitely my go-to boot, as you will all have seen over the past few years, if you have followed me for that amount of time. Banks wears mediums in front, and then he has large, I believe. Are these large? Where's the label? Oh, yeah, ready for that, Mum? Yeah, large on his hinds. A little bit of a brush before I put the boot on, just to make sure there's no mud that's going to irritate it underneath. The front ones were clean, but the back ones, from all that escaping, clearly got a bit muddy. And that's not the best demonstration of how to put a boot on, Tina. There we go. <laughs> See his hairy legs. <laughs> They're going to need tidying up before we get back out of venting, aren't they? Oh, you are doing a very good job of being the perfect model today. Yes, you are. Right, on to his rug. As I said, this is... Oh, the camera looks a bit wonky. That's better, a bit straighter. Happy ears. Happy ears of this month. Are we friends today? Are we friends today? This is literally, again, probably the same as my tabards, probably about six or seven years old. I had it way before I had banks. I actually bought it for my first horse that I've probably not even really spoke about on this channel, Leo. Insert picture here, Tina, if you can find one, um, who was a 16-1 chestnut Hanoverian gelding. 
um, and then obviously I went on to use it on Buddy and it stood the test of time seven odd maybe even eight years later I'm now still using it nearly every winter on Banksy um, what I like about it is the fact that it's lightweight but it's not flappy you know some I say that <laughs> quite windy today I should probably at least do it up before saying that and I think every time I go over there I go out of focus but hey ho yeah although it's lightweight it's not flappy it's heavy enough to stay down even when it is windy but at the same time light enough to not make him excessively hot when exercising um, I am gonna have to go around the other side to do it up and Banks you've actually grown by a hand for some reason today so it fastens, I, I put it under the stirrup leathers and then it also fastens up here on his withers with a bit of velcro and then also what I like about it is the fact that it fastens in front of his chest as well so obviously to oncoming traffic you can see me on top but you can also see that not only does he have a reflective bum a nice, oh, focus camera, reflective chest and shoulder area too. You are modelling very well today, my boy. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for being a helpful assistant. You've seen what I use on banks. Admittedly, it's only really three stroke four items. Reflective rug, reflective boots, reflective Tina. Oh, one other thing meant to say about this jacket is... If you were to think, oh, I need something from the shop, run, jump in your car, start driving there, think, oh, why didn't I change my coat? I've never actually done this, but I know you can do this. Da, da, da. Also reversible. So you could go into the shop feeling a bit less like a builder or workman. even got pockets once it's reversed. This nifty item is fabulous for cycling and running. I used it running the other day, insert picture here, Tina. Um, literally it goes on, it's called FHOS is the brand, I probably haven't pronounced that right. And it is available at Treehouse Sporting Colours. You guys will know that I do a lot of collab, couldn't do it up then, do a lot of collabs with them. What I like about this is that it does secure over like that. Um, I don't wear backpacks very often. I do sometimes skiing and I hate it when they slip off your shoulders. So for running, cycling, etc., it's fab that you can secure it both there and there too. You press the button, it flashes as you can see. And then on your handles, on the handlebar of your bike, insert picture here, Tina, you can then indicate left and right, which is so clever. It saves you having to take your hands off the handlebars and do that. You literally just press a button and it goes, do, 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 do. well, it doesn't beep. It flashes and tells the cars behind you which direction you are going in. It's a fab size for fitting in spare items of clothing, etc. However, at the minute, it's not that that I've got in there. It's some extra little bit. Oh, I have got gloves in there spare gloves that I use while cycling. These are actually woof wear gloves, so they're equestrian gloves, but I love them for cycling because they're nice, simple, pull-on, stretchy ones. But I didn't know they were in there. They're normally in my cycling helmet. Okay, so another couple of items. A, same brand. <laughs> Probably should have done that on with just a face layer, not the coat, but yeah. One of the snap round your arm and then that lights up. Be it hard to show because it's not dark yet, but basically it illuminates and you can put that either on your arm or your leg, around the top of your riding boot, all different places really. Look. Da -da 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 -da. Snaps on anywhere and just stays there. Fab concept. As are these nifty little things. We have one here in the fluorescent yellow and I also have a blue one. Where's the blue one gone? This can go 
they're magnetic so they can go all different places say I didn't have this jacket on put it on another type of jacket bottom of your um, running trousers the magnet is strong they do stay there and literally put it on and then you've got lights on your legs as you're running Around your dog's collar, you can put it, flip it round, stays there, same with, like that. Very clever. I guess you could put it on your bridle, somewhere like that. Not your head collar, because you don't need to be illuminated whilst in the field, but yeah, just to show you the power of the magnets. They're pretty strong and it stays there, no problem at all. Not only does it do the solid lights, but it also flashes off, on, flashy. <laughs> and they're available in a few different colours. Again, good nifty concept. I think they're fab, fab for putting on dog collars, I would say, for like if you've got to walk your dogs in the evening. And you want to see where they are, just ta -da! <laughs> your flashing banks. Last product, and I think this one is more in my eyes for running, not cycling. And that is this to me, what looks like a runner's tabard. It's probably got an official name somewhere. I probably should have looked that up. But again, same brand, Ethos. And see the light, you just literally put it over yourself like this da -da -da -da. Ah, the wind's picking up everything's blowing off my roof and then you turn it on like this so you can't see what it's doing but if it was dark you'd be able to see well you can see that's flashing again like the other one is off on solidly or flashing white on the front and red on the back off on flashing if i could show you this in the dark i would but it's light and yeah i can't but it flashes bright so if i was running home from work literally super lightweight doesn't feel like you've got anything additional on can be tightened around the edges like so Woo! and Woo! Like that and run forest run <sighs> oh, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and found it useful if you need to reinvest in some essential safety attire like I say a few different products some old some new definitely can say that the rug and the boots have been very well tried and tested and I hope to be able to report back to you in a few years time that these have been very well tried and tested too. But I will admit, I am loving this backpack. I ran in it, as I said the other day, and it was super comfy. I've never actually ran in a backpack before. Um, never thought of it. Thought it would ir irritate me too much. However, I actually found if I had a little bit of weight in the backpack, it counteracted the weight, the additional weight that I have on my chest. I made it actually easier so rather than feeling like that running like oh god this is a chore I actually felt more corrected and really enjoyed running with the backpack on so fun fact for you probably will find me in the future running with backpack on however at the moment my heel is still unfortunately bad and I've sadly had to admit defeat and not be able to continue with my 100k challenge but that's a story for another day don't want to go into that today because it makes me sad I'm gonna get on my pony and go for a nice ride hope you've enjoyed this vlog guys any questions about any of the products do let me know in the comments section below do give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed comment with what high vis you do you use I would love to know I know lots of people have high vis fly veils um, maybe different colors I know lots of different snazzy colors are out there now like pinks and reds and oranges personally I've always favored the yellow um, don't know why I think is it the original I'm not sure but I love it oh I didn't show you one more item silver silver is a good high highly visible item too did I bring that out with me did I or didn't I that's staying there nicely back Ooh, I did! This is again from Treehouse. It's by Stierna Equestrian. 
and I don't know why I'm actually showing you it because it's all out of stock but when I spotted it although they're primarily an equestrian brand I was like oh my goodness I need that in my life for cycling it is lightweight oh put your hand in there but it's pretty stylish for a reflective jacket it's stretchy it's got lovely panels down here of stretch um, but yeah running cycling it doesn't even feel like you've got a coat on it's not remotely restrictive but again like I said why am I showing you it's completely sold out oh it got reduced and then like literally so many of you bought it straight away so yeah sorry but keep your eyes peeled or put a petition <laughs> petition into Stierna if you want them to re-release it because it's pretty snazzy I'll do a twirl for you do, 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 do. oh and you might have noticed not allowed to talk about them yet anyways as I said over and out hope you've enjoyed nice to see you all although I can't actually see you but hope you've enjoyed seeing me <laughs> and I will see you all very very soon bye thanks say bye thanks say bye thanks say bye please we're going riding aren't we take this up Mwah, thanks for being the best morning Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do Just keep on doing what you do